Good day, brothers and sisters. Wisdom at Dawn, episode 378. The one and only vehicle, a limited understanding. In the following verse, we as Buddhist practitioners must uphold precepts, samadhi and wisdom and establish faith, vows and practice. Thus, our minds can be at peace and we can walk the path of the one vehicle. Master says, once we have aspired to practice, we can stay on our course by cultivating precepts, samadhi and wisdom. Precepts prevent erroneous thoughts from arising and put an end to our erroneous behavior. Only precepts can bring us into a state of samadhi. If we are not in the state of samadhi, then we will waste our time because in an instant we would have broken the firm vows that we made. Thus we must safeguard our samadhi and the power of our vows. If our minds are not in a state of samadhi, we will definitely not have wisdom. As wisdom comes from tranquility, the tranquility of samadhi. So where can we attain this state of peace and stability? Master says, by walking the path of the one vehicle. As in the following verse, All Buddhas teach the one vehicle path. The one vehicle dharma is what the Buddha originally intended to teach and is the ultimate teachings, which is today's wondrous Dharma Lotus Flower Sutra. Now this teaching included everything the Buddha taught for the first 42 years, despite the fact that the Buddha said those were called skillful means. Master has always emphasized that skillful means are wondrous provisional teachings. Even though it is small vehicle Dharma, it is the foundation of the Buddha Dharma. And the Lotus Sutra that we are discussing now cannot be understood without the skillful means as it completes the teachings. Even the Lotus Sutra also uses analogies, expressions, causes and conditions and the nine divisions of Dharma to explain and create a complete sutra. So all these methods are used to help people more easily understand and take the Dharma to heart. Master says, Understand that length of time, long or short, is only relative. Compare the human realm and the heavenly realm. One day in Triatimsa heaven is 100 years in the human realm. So to the Buddhas, countless kalpas is not that long. Thus, they are able to see our countless past lifetimes. At the vulture's peak, just before Buddha expounded the Lotus Sutra, 5,000 people left. Due to their overbearing arrogance, and lack of deep faith. But the Buddha did not stop them, as he knew the assembly is now left with firm fruits. So the Buddha specifically told those who remained to resolve the questions in their minds, to eliminate their doubts. He said, Since you have firmly resolved to stay and listen to the teachings, you must all be sincere. Your root of faith must grow deep. Those who did not plant good seeds in the past lives will have doubts about the Buddha Dharma and will not enjoy listening to the right Dharma. Thus, they will doubt the true principles and are confused, unable to discern right from wrong. For countless kalpas, the Buddha has safeguarded the one vehicle Dharma in his mind. And now, at this time, he completely and directly opened the Dharma door to true Dharma. And he hoped that we could all wholeheartedly and directly enter our intrinsic Buddha nature of true suchness. Because the end of his life was coming near, he had to teach the wondrous Dharma very quickly. While he was concerned that people would not thoroughly understand it or half believe and half question it, the Buddha was very determined. So he reminded those who were listening at Vulture's Peak to have deep faith and not give rise to doubt. Master says, All Buddha's teachings are based on the same principle, and they all come to teach the same thing. That the Tathagata Garbha, or the innate pure nature of true suchness, is within all sentient beings. And the cultivation of the one true Bodhi path will help us get there. Through this cultivation, we will clear up our storehouse of karmic seeds stored in our eighth consciousness 
to reveal the pure and clean Buddha nature or the ninth consciousness. So Master hope that we can all understand this and enjoy the Buddha Dharma, have deep faith and walk forward step by step. Only then can we enter and attain the Buddha's tranquil and still state of mind. Can earn for listening in, brothers and sisters. May wisdom and inspiration be with all always.